Hey vlog buddies, I'm here with my friend Ryan. Say hi Ryan. Hey guys. Ryan's voice gets very deep when he goes on camera. <laughs> Start over. Hey vlog buddies, I'm here with my friend Ryan. And say hi. Hey guys. Uh, you may remember Ryan from a video that I did before about gay twin brothers because Ryan is gay, his twin brother is gay. I know. Check it out if you want to see that video. But he's here today because we just filmed another video which we're posting on March 17th which I think is St. Patrick's Day even though you're not so sure. Um, but if it is, it'll be a nice little St. Patrick's Day present for you. Uh, Ryan gets very wet in this video. How do you feel about the video? You think it's gonna be good? Yeah, it's gonna be really good. It's very artsy. Uh, hopefully you guys will like it. So, uh, so stay tuned for that. And uh, the reason I'm filming a vlog today is to answer some of your dating and relationship questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Hey blog buddies, so a little disclaimer here. I'm gonna answer some of your questions from my blog. I am not an expert in any way, shape, or form. And so follow this advice at your own risk. And it's impossible for me to know the full breadth and scope and whatever of your situation from a few sentences on my blog. But I'm gonna do what I can. Not saying it's the best advice. Take it or leave it. Maybe you should leave it. But let's get started. Okay, first question is from Greg. I don't know what to do. I love this man with all my heart, yet he wants nothing to do with me. I supported him for over a year, helped him get my job through my boss. Now, after only two checks, he moved out and he's leaving me. He starts fights with me every time I drink and is extremely jealous. Everyone is telling me to move on, but I really do love this man. What can I possibly do to help him understand that no matter what I truly have done to upset him, that I truly do love him? Okay. Wow. So Greg, it seems like your friends are telling you to move on. This man is telling you to move on. I think the question for you is, you say you love him, do you love him enough to let go? I think that's the question, because if you do, he doesn't want anything to do with you, your friends are telling you not to do it, it seems like it's time, it's time to cut it. And uh, if he's trying to create this life that you're not necessarily part of, and you do love him, and you want him to be happy, then, then I think you owe it to him, and you owe it to yourself to let go. Austin asks, I have been waiting to ask you this question for a long time. What are some tips on maintaining a long distance relationship until I can move to be closer to my boyfriend? Well, Austin, this is probably one area where I am an expert that's on long distance relationships because I am in one right now. And uh, I think the tips would be, well, first of all, I think that you're in an amazing situation. I love long distance relationships because you still have the room to kind of grow and to breathe and, and, and you know do what you want to do. But uh, when you see each other, it's like these like magical two weeks or month or a couple days or whatever it is. And because you don't get a lot of time together, you don't take that time for granted, you don't take each other for granted, and there's less bickering, and it's really an enjoyable experience. But as far as tips, I'd say try to hang out with each other as much as you possibly can. Moreover, make use of technology. I Skype with my boyfriend every day. Uh, we're always webcamming, talking on the phone, Facebook chat, email, I am. Take use of technology because it's not the 1800s and it really, really, really helps. It helps a lot. So try that. Vladimir says, hi Davey, hello from Brazil. Hey Vladimir. Um, I have this crush on a boy and I don't know if he's gay or not. This happens a lot. Uh, and we can, we also work together. I like him very much for the way he is and I don't want to lose his friendship. What should I do? Well, Vladimir. It depends. If he knows that you're gay and still continues to be friends with you, that's great. If he doesn't know that you're gay, you should probably come out to him and not come out to him and tell him that you're interested in one swoop. Just kind of come out to him. And uh, if he continues to be friends with you, hopefully he does if he's a nice person and, and uh, then presumably he will, um, then you can kind of test the waters in a non-obvious way, like ask him out to dinner like, oh, do you want to hang out after work? And don't be really forward, but kind of test the waters, if you know what I mean. Like, see see if, if, if your uh, advances or innuendos are, are answered back. And if they're not, then he's probably straight, and you can still love and appreciate that relationship, that friendship for what it is. And if they are um, reciprocated, then you can kind of push them forward a little bit more and a little bit more and see where things take you. Okay, Eduardo says, Hi Davey, how can I get over my first ex? It's been a year and a half since we broke up, but as much as I try, I can't stop loving him. And it hurts so bad knowing that he's with someone else that he won't speak to me. It doesn't feel a thing for me. Please help. All right, Eduardo, I'm going to give you a little bit of tough love. It's been a year and a half. You say that you love him. First of all, we've all been, we've all been in this situation. I think all of us can understand this. And 
You say that it hurts so bad knowing that he's with someone else, and yet you love him. I think, again, if you really, really love him, you want him to be happy. And here he is, creating a life with someone else. I think you need to be happy for him. You need to be happy that he's moved on, that he's with someone else, that he's doing what he wants to do. And if him creating a life that, that makes him happy means not having you be part of it, I think you need to respect that. So, Eduardo, I think you need to kind of pick up the pieces here and start looking forward instead of looking back and, uh, and move on with your life. And, and, and um, you know, eventually, I'm sure if you take a few deep breaths and pull through, um, someone may come into your life down the road and, and when the time is right and the sting of all this will hurt a little bit less. M says, how do you come out to your girlfriend? Well, and you sit down and you say, honey, I'm gay. I like dick. I like it in my face. I like it in my butt. Actually, it's probably not how you should do that. Um, you should probably do it very gently and in a way that she feels supported and loved and um, in person, <laughs> not over email like I may have done. Um, so, so M, uh, sooner rather than later would be, would be advised. JT says, hello Davy Wavy, I love you. I love you too, JT. I'm 50 and I'm married, have two kids. I know I'm gay. Long after being married, I experimented and loved every moment. I am happy. We still have decent sex. I spend hours at Xtube and other gay websites. Our life is happy. We're successful. Our kids are happy. We have a few houses and a fair amount of assets, i.e. a very complicated separation. I keep thinking I will wake up not horny for men one day. Am I too old to change? Is it too complicated to change? XO, I love you. Wow, JT, that's some heavy stuff. All right, now, you know, I don't know the full scope of your situation, but you said that your, your separation, you have a lot of assets, your separation would be complicated. Um, I think you need to ask yourself, what do you want more? Uh, all of your assets or a life that you're living where you feel like it's true to yourself, an authentic, authentic life? Um, what's more important, the houses or being authentic to yourself? And it might be that the houses are more important to you and, and that's fine. And then I think you have your answer. The other thing, there's kids involved. And I think that if and when you do separate, um, that you just need to make sure that, that obviously that, that it's done in a way that puts the kids first, um, that it doesn't get ugly and that, that it's done in a way that they feel loved and that they feel understood and, and that it's not their fault and all those things because so often that happens. But I don't think that you're ever too old to change and that because something is complicated that's a reason not to do it. I just worry that in 20 or 30 years that you'll be sitting you know, somewhere much later in life and just have all these regrets of, gosh, I should have done that. What if I had done that? How would my life be different? You only get one shot at this life and so you might as well live one that's true to yourself. So JT, difficult situation and I think we all feel for you, um, but ultimately this is, this is going to be uh, a decision that's, that's in your hands um, if you feel it's right. So good luck with that. Kyle says, do you believe there is someone out there for everybody and if so, what keeps you believing? Kyle, I do believe that there's someone out there for everyone. In fact, I know that there's someone out there for everyone. And that someone is yourself. So Kyle, you have Kyle. And Davy has Davy. And that's the most important relationship that we could ever hope to cultivate. The most important relationship that we have. It's the only person you'll ever wake up next to each day, yourself. So uh, beyond that, yeah, some of us will uh, invite other people into our lives and have relationships with other people. But the numero uno most important one is the relationship with yourself. So I think that's a good place to end this. Uh, I hope you found it useful or helpful, and if you don't agree with me on some of the advice, weigh in below. If you have additional advice, check it out. And there were literally more than a hundred other questions that I couldn't get to on my blog. So I'll put up the link, and you guys can feel free to check out my blog, and hopefully you guys can answer some of the other questions that are out there, because um, I can't do it all. But I love you, and I'll talk to you soon, and stay tuned for Thursday's talkie blog, because it's going to be good. Uh, I love you. Peace out.